other news at Huffman Racing this past <laughs> week. Uh, we did get the shop completely uh, power, power washed, pressure washed. And I believe everyone that came and pressure washed the shop got... Did you get sick, RJ? Did you have any type yeah, of sickness? I was, I was sick before. Yeah, I was already sick. <clears throat> I don't oh. think it helped, but... Because me and Rich both got sick after that. So either we got it from you or you... There or no the shop. what you stirred up in there. Probably all I know. A co- combination of all of it. I mean, have, you're walking around in wet feet, wet socks. You don't have mesothelioma cold. or something. Well, I don't think that. So, <laughs> Are we entitled <laughs> to compensation? Yeah. I believe that that is a myth, first of all. Mesothelioma? No, no. <laughs> mesothelioma is not a myth. Up. No, that is not what I meant. I There's just, a fucking narrative. <laughs> I was referring. Late model driver Landon Huffman is a mesothelioma <laughs> denier. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I was referring to. I'm saying that RJ said that the cold and the wet is what made you sick. I think that is a myth. I don't think that temperature alone... Makes you sick. So you're you're telling me it it has to be a, a so germ or a bacteria. Is not bad. I'm not saying it's good, but I don't yeah. think that's what makes you sick. More I think that's a myth. Guy myself. All right, I think that's a myth. Yeah. Not mesothelioma. Dog I, from Doctor Huffman, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. To clarify this, I am a firm believer that mesothelioma is a real thing. Say that again. Listen, I'm Meso- backtracking now. <laughs> <laughs> mesothelioma. Mesothelioma. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, you got it. Well, you made me question it there. Can you mm. spell that? No. M E S O T H E L I O M A. That's how I would spell it. Sounds right to me. Can we get a you, fact RJ? check on that? that? Sound right? You fact checking? I just don't. I don't even remember don't what Travis remember just said. So, it, so, I so I was right. Let's see. It's spelled M E S O. It's not the same thing. <laughs> that is mesopotamia. Mesothelioma. <laughs> Travis, you got it right. Hell yeah! Is there anything else that happened this past week that we have not documented that you would think the podcast might would enjoy? A lot of blank faces looking I mean, back at me here. Nothing I can talk about. Well, we were publicly. trying to move stuff the other day. We had a couple bonehead moments that we should have recorded, but what? You broke your door handle in your car. You broke my door handle. So it was never functioning. It does. It, it functioned. It was pre-broke. No, <laughs> I drive a 1998 Toyota Corolla. It's my baby, and it was my first car, and I love it to death. It, I haven't changed the oil in it in like six years. Yeah, because it keeps on coming out of the tailpipe. Yeah, so it burns oil, so I just recycle it. So I just Welcome put to my world. Put oil from the race shop in it, and it does pretty good. But I just recently, well, as of like a year and a half ago, I put new door handles inside. The windows somehow are a little out of line, so whenever the doors shut or open, the handles don't open properly. You have to, you know... A little soft touch on them. Mm-hmm. Well, Seth just jerked the shit out of it and broke my door handle. Well, and if anybody out there knows me off. how to get out of a car without pulling the door handle, you can open the door way. handle, but you have to be gentle with it. You me, can't just you you hold your pinky up. Lean back <laughs> and kick the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, like a flipped bus. It was kind of a mild week. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>